Welcome to Zach's Tech Turf. Today, we're benchmarking For Honor with the $150 graphics card, the GTX 1050 Ti. I've already benchmarked this game with the 50 and $100 graphics card, which you guys should definitely check out later, but for now, let's get into it. Before jumping straight into the benchmarks, the exact GTX 1050 Ti I'm using is the PMY version with four gigabytes. I've already uploaded this entire review on this card with a bunch more benchmarks, which you guys should definitely check out as well. The rest of my testing setup is rocking an i7 4790K, not overclocked, 16 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM, and they're connected with an MSI Gaming 5 motherboard. Just so you guys know, For Honor has a built-in benchmarking tool which I really appreciate, but I didn't use it and I benchmarked during actual gameplay so it's a bit more accurate. Because this is now my third graphics card I'm benchmarking with today, I knew that For Honor was already optimized pretty well so I jumped straight into 1080p on high settings with a resolution scale of 100%. This resulted in, as expected, a silky smooth 63 FPS with a minimum of 58. This is what you're seeing now, and as you can tell, this was a solid gaming experience. Next up, I kept it at 1080p, cranked up the settings to extreme, and tried to see if the GTX 1050 Ti could completely smash up this resolution. It did, because here I still averaged 53 FPS with a minimum of 49. This is what you're seeing now. Also, I would officially say that the 1050 Ti can eat 1080p for breakfast, and there was only one thing left to do. I cranked up the resolution to 1440p, put the settings on low, and this is what you're seeing now. This was by far my favorite experience with the 1050 Ti, and I personally think that this is the sweet spot. Here I averaged 64 FPS with a minimum of 57 during my gameplay testing. That's a pretty small gap, meaning it stayed around that 60 FPS target the entire time. What you're watching now is the in-game benchmark, which really pushes the graphics card more than my gameplay benchmark, and as you can see it easily easily pass that 30 FPS minimum test for online play. Well that wraps up my benchmarking video for the GTX 1050 Ti. This was now my third benchmark video today and I want to know what you guys think. What game and what card should I benchmark next? Not today though, I need a break. Well I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please drop a like down below to help support my channel and as always, thank you for watching and please subscribe for more Zach's Tech Turf videos.